Hello, hi, my name is Zara Bamberg and I'm currently living in with my mum, sister and fiancé in Bushy. I'm a children's physiotherapist and I've had quite a lot of thoughts about what has happened to me recently and during this pandemic. These have been changes in my work life and changes in my personal life. I work in Watford in the community, but during this COVID-19 pandemic, I've been redeployed to Watford General ICU. I've had a complete role change working as a healthcare assistant. This has presented with many challenges that I've had to overcome. I've had to learn about different pieces of equipment nurses use, how to assist with personal care duties and helping with positional changes, whilst also having to put my physio brain away. A lot of my shifts have also been twilight shifts. These are shifts that go from 7.30 p.m. to 3 a.m. So this is something I've had to also get used to. But now, as the ICU is starting to get a little bit more quiet, I have actually started my role at home as a physio. I have also had time to pick up some new hobbies, such as bike riding with my sister and trying to get to grips with photography. And of, of course, trying to perfect my baking skills, especially with the Hulla um, bake and in the Hulla department. I've also started a blog about my experiences being redeployed. This is something I have never done before and I've never thought I could actually do or actually be good at or semi good at. I do feel that there have been some positives that have come out of COVID-19. I feel like the community as a whole has become so much stronger. Who would have thought you could have a Friday night dinner, a Friday night service on Zoom or even have a colour baking on Zoom? Other things that people have actually mentioned to me along the way is how this downtime has given families time to be, to be together and to bond. I spoke to a mother the other day on the phone um, from my work, who her son had come out of the hospital three weeks ago, and she actually mentioned she was so appreciative that she had been in lockdown for his recovery and for her not to be rushing around. So I guess there are some silver linings at the end of the tunnel. And I do think that hopefully we are coming out of this. Um, and that's my thought of the day. Thank you.